I'm Bishop J.C. Williams of uh, the Williams Temple Church of God in Christ. We'd like to welcome our presiding bishop and to the chairman of the bishop board and the, the College of Bishops to the conference. We trust that you will enjoy yourselves and will be comfortable and, and uh, enjoy yourself while you're in our fair city. We have driven to make it pleasant for your stay. And may God bless you. Hi, I'm Bishop C.H. McClellan, pastor of Holy Cathedral Church of God in Christ and prelate for Wisconsin Northwest Jurisdiction. Just want to take this moment to welcome uh, the leaders of our great church, our presiding Bishop Charles Edward Blake, and to also welcome our chairman of the Board of Bishop, the Bishop John Henry Sheard, and all of the delegates to this wonderful 2013 Bishops Conference. I know you're going to be blessed not only by the wonderful worship experience, but the tremendous preaching and the workshops that will be held on this week. You're in a great city, and the Church of God in Christ has been blessed in Wisconsin for a long time, and we believe that you will experience the great things that God is doing for us, and we welcome you in the name of the Lord, and may you be blessed. Good morning, my fellow yokemen. God bless you, and welcome to the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm Bishop Darrell Hines, pastor of Christian Faith Fellowship Church of God in Christ, and I've been a lifetime resident here in the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and how excited I am that you've decided to have the 2013 Bishops Conference right here in our great city. Beautiful city, great city by, the, by a great lake. Let me first of all welcome our presiding bishop. Thank you, Bishop Blake, for coming to Milwaukee. And again, to Bishop Sheard, the chairman of the Bishops Council. Thank you, Bishop Sheard, and the whole council for selecting our city. Hopefully, you'll be blessed while you're here. You'll experience not only great service, not only great people, not only great food, but great fellowship. It's always important to know that where you choose, you leave your mark. And we'll never be the same knowing that you all have come to our city. Again, thank you for coming. If there's anything that we can do to help make your stay comfortable, let us know because we're honored to have you here. Again, thank you for coming and God bless you. Hello, I'm Bishop John A. Barton Sr., pastor of the Greater Philadelphia Church of God in Christ here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, under the leadership, auxiliary bishop under the leadership of Bishop Cedric Daniels, general board member. Uh, we certainly want to welcome uh, to our city uh, our presiding bishop, Bishop Charles Blake, and the general board, Bishop John Henry Sheard, and the board of bishops. We want to thank you and let you know how excited we are that you have chosen our city of Milwaukee to host this 2013 Bishops Conference. Again, we want to say that we welcome you and trust that your stay here will be a pleasurable and a rememberable one. Again, welcome to the Wisconsin United Jurisdictions uh, for the Bishops Conference 2013. God bless you, this is Bishop Sedgwick Daniels, and welcome to Wisconsin. We're overjoyed that you have selected Wisconsin to host the 2013 Bishops Conference. We believe here there is nothing too hard for God. We're excited about your presence. We're excited about the energy that will be infused through the prolific message, the training, and all of the experiences that shall be encircled during this conference. We welcome our presiding bishop, our chairman of our board of bishops, and all of the delegates to this celebrated convention. May you enjoy the rich tradition of Wisconsin and the warm hearts of the saints that are here in the Wisconsin community. We have friends, colleagues, reformational leaders, judicatory leaders that have expressed a period of welcome and wish to share expressions welcoming our presiding bishop and our distinguished leaders of our church. Thank you again for coming. Enjoy your stay in Wisconsin. And remember, there is nothing too hard for God. Thank you.
Greetings, beloved. I'm Bishop Charles H. Ellis, pastor of Greater Grace Temple of the City of David in the wonderful locale of Detroit, Michigan, and the presiding bishop of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. I want to congratulate one of our Pentecostal fathers, Bishop Charles Blake, and my good friend, Bishop J. Drew Sheard, as you now prepare for the 2013 Bishop's Conference of the Churches of God in Christ. I pray that all of you are empowered, enlightened, and you have an endeavor to do the will of God and to build the kingdom of God. We love you, God bless you, and have a great conference. What a joy it is for me today to greet all of you who are gathered for the Church of God in Christ Bishops Conference in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You know, as the years have gone by over the, uh, over the last hundred years, and the Assemblies of God is coming up on its hundredth anniversary next year, we recognize the deep roots between our two movements, the Church of God in Christ and the Assemblies of God. It was William J. Seymour at the Azusa Street Revival who said that the bloodline washes out the color line. It would have been so wonderful if some of our leaders in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s could have recognized the reality of what was said by William J. Seymour back then. But in these recent years, the Lord has been knitting our hearts again together as in every way we seek to um, embrace one another's fellowship. And I am so appreciative of your presiding bishop, Charles Blake, the great leadership that he gives you. And the upcoming um, meeting between our executive leadership and your executive leadership in November, it's a historic occasion. And we so look forward to the fellowship and the mutual sharing that will take place. I also want to recognize your conference chair, Bishop Drew Sherd, for his wonderful opportunity uh, for me to greet all of you. You know, the Assemblies of God is just one part of the kingdom of God, and we've always recognized that the kingdom of God is so much bigger than the Assemblies of God. And it's bigger, of course, as you know, than the Church of God in Christ. But one of my friends who stands outside of the Pentecostal movement said, you know, if you took our movement Outside of the kingdom of God, you blow a pretty big hole in the kingdom of God. And if you took the church of God in Christ out of the kingdom of God, if you uh, didn't have the literally thousands of church and millions of people that, that are part of the church of God in Christ, what an incredible vacuum would be left in America. So I am grateful for what all of you are doing to advance the cause of Jesus Christ. It's absolutely wonderful. And I've always loved the name of your fellowship, Church of God in Christ. Today you're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And Wisconsin is in the United States. And the United States is in North America. And North America is in the Western Hemisphere. And the Western Hemisphere is in planet Earth. And planet Earth is in the solar system. And the solar system is in the Milky Way galaxy. And the Milky Way galaxy is in the universe. Where is the universe? It's in Christ. And one day, every line of our address between where we are now and uh, where Christ is, every line will be eliminated. And it's just us in Christ. The Apostle Paul always identified himself as a man in Christ. And you are the church of God in Christ. When we come to Jesus, we have a permanent home. And regardless of our background, regardless of our economic status, regardless of our racial identity, our true identity, our real identity, is who we are in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So I trust that as you meet as bishops, that your meeting will be... Uh, superintended by the ministry and person of the Holy Spirit, that you'll have fresh anointing and fresh vision, and that the Lord will bless you in a wonderful way as you gather together. And we look forward to all opportunities in the days to come to blend our hearts and minds and devotion together in common service to Jesus Christ, our Lord. God bless you richly and shower you with his favor. 
The great philosopher and navigator Sir Walter Raleigh said, we see further because we stand on the shoulders of giants. It is my incredible privilege, awesome, honorable opportunity to greet you, the General Board and the Conference of Bishops. Hosted by my beloved Bishop Cedric Daniels, we bring you greetings and Jesus joy on behalf of the oldest African-American denomination in these continental United States of America, the African Methodist Episcopal Church. On behalf of my father, our presiding bishop, Bishop John Richard Bryant, we declare unto you that the best is yet to come and the worst is behind. The AME Church has a history and a legacy of liberating and reconciling people. But we pray that we get the power and the fervor of the Holy Ghost that is authenticated through the Church of God in Christ. We salute your presider, Bishop Charles Edward Blake, and all of you, the constituents of this assembly, to declare unto you that upon this rock, God has built his church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. Elijah. Let them know there's only one hope. One hope. We don't need no business sessions. Uh -huh. We don't need to amend the Constitution. No, sir. Ain't gonna abide by no way. If you won't abide by this, that's the Constitution. That's the Constitution. If they won't abide by this, they're not going to abide by that. No, sir. If a man won't obey the Bible, he's not going to obey your Constitution. And if we get right, this is the Constitution. It is holiness or hell, including the presiding bishop. Is holiness or hell? Yes, sir. Elijah said, we don't need all that. No, sir. We don't even need a three-day shut-in. Uh-huh. Just need a one-day crusade. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Let's meet up on Mount Carmel. Yes, sir. Meet there. And I'm going to give you top priority. Yes, sir. Because you've got more on your program than I've got on mine. You got 450 participants you got to introduce. Yes, sir. And I don't have but one. Uh -huh. Then it takes you a little longer to get ready because you got to bring your God up on an ox cot. Yes, sir. And my God will be up there when I get there. Keep my trust in the almighty God. If you're failing preacher, if you're failing missionary, if you're failing board members, if you're failing mothers, the fault is not God. The fault's in you. Because God said, that's what you will in my name. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No wonder the Apostle Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. I can do all things, all things, all things, all things. But the trouble is this, but Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Too many of us now, we know too much. We we know how to do it. We know where to go. But let Jesus lead you. Let God speak to you. Let God direct you. If God direct you, He know where to sing you. He know what to do. Say yeah. If you have a religion that you can't feel, you can lose it and don't miss it. Brother... Brother Simmons would get happy almost anywhere. And he taught me something. I'm fishing for a witness. That if you really have a Holy Ghost, am I talking to the right section? I said if you really have a Holy Ghost, I hear my bishops back there, then the Holy Ghost will show out on you. You can be walking downtown I'm still looking for a witness. 
and look over your shoulder and see where the Lord has brought you from. And if you're not careful, you'll holler, thank you. And then look around and see who heard you. Finally, when Jesus comes in and you become a Christian man, oh, hallelujah, then you can stand for Christ. And I hear Paul again say, when you've done all to stand, stand. The devil is going to try to knock you down, but stand. Well, how can I stand? He said, you got to put on the whole arm of God. Have your lungs girded about with truth and put on the blessed prayer of righteousness and have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and put on the helmet of salvation and have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God and the shield of faith and, and you can stand when the anointing of God is on your life folk may turn up the heat on you folk may try to block you in folk may try to tie you down but God will come in and deliver you and set you free and you'll be strolling on about your business by the power of God hallelujah Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Church, in this day and time, we're going to need the power of the Holy Ghost. Not just reading about God, not just believing in God, but knowing the power of God for ourselves. I see you in the future, and you look much better than you look right now. Come on, this is a God. 